Here comes our next act. He's going to turn this theater into the world's largest ever stringed instrument. From Los Angeles, California, here's William Close and the Earth Heart Collective. When you run your hands along the strings, it's very similar to running your finger around the edge of a wine glass. When you turn this whole theater into an instrument, that's originality, and I bow to you. Building totally unique instruments is my passion. It truly is my life's work. About four years ago, I had just come back from a show, and I woke up to the smell of smoke. Two hours later, everything that I had was lost. I was considering giving up, moving somewhere else, and starting a new life. I got the will to rebuild both the house and the instruments. At my first audition, I could tell about halfway through my act, I was like, I think I'm onto something here. The instrument he created was amazing. Suddenly it occurred to me, this guy's a big act. I want everybody in America to go to see one of these concerts. You're not sitting there watching a show, you are in the show. And we could rise in and start to tune right now. I've been doing this now for 15 years. I've been waiting for a worldwide stage. This is the first time that I feel like it's truly, truly ready and that I'm ready. You know, you know what? I've never said this before. I've been here three uh, years, and I got two words. We're done. I think you won. I think you won this whole contest. I think this is amazing. You are firing on so many cylinders. You, sir, are an amazing performer. You, sir, are an amazing uh, musician. You are also an amazing engineer. This is phenomenal. I've just never been to a show like this and I would pay any amount of money to sit and watch this concert. I've never built anything. I once made a triangle out of a triangular piece of metal, but that's oh, right. virtually did nothing. I hit Howie, we'll work on it. We'll meet up and make some instruments. I, yeah. This is amazing. I want to bang on one of your women. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sharon. Thank you. You know, it's like there have been a couple of times on this show where I have seen things that have totally amazed me and you know that you're in the presence of something great 
innovative, but I have never seen anything on this show at this professional level. You know, we have worldwide artists perform on this show, and when they perform and then our acts come on, sometimes I get like a little embarrassed. I'm like, oi, I mean, are they ever gonna get to this level? You are over and above anything I have ever seen on this stage. Uh, everything from your singer to everything, everything, everything. I bow down to you and you deserve everything and more that this show can give you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Judge Howard Stern. Well, I'm sitting here holding back because my other two judges have gone on for so long, but now I'll go. How dare you? The uh, give them the million dollars was my first thought because this is almost unbeatable what I'm oh. seeing here. I don't know what anyone else is going to do. Look, you know, I've said all along. I joined the show because I really wanted to find an extraordinary talent. I wanted to be part of the process, joining uh, you, Nick, Howie and Sharon, and find someone who I could really crow about on the radio show every morning. And I, and I found that with you. And I often say, you know, if you really believe in a talent and you're a judge, let's see the judge put up his own money and produce a show with that guy. I think all three of us would be willing to do that for the first time. So, wow. Exactly. That's amazing. That's never happened on this show before. Thank you so much, Howard. Thank you. You bet. Wonderful. You were wonderful. Yes, you are. One more time for William Close, ladies and gentlemen. My folks at home, you know what to do. Call 1 866 60 AGT 07. That's 1 866 60 24807. But can't do anything until the end of the show. Coming up, a dance group attempts their toughest routine yet, but can they pull it off? Nothing hurts. And these dogs are out to win America's hearts, but will they win your votes too?